Toussaint, the land of love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. Hi, it's Tom with a showcase of The Witcher 3 on Xbox One X, this time in high dynamic range. Now we've covered its excellent 4K support in another analysis, but today the focus is on the quality of that HDR implementation, which as it turns out is something of a timed exclusive from Microsoft's machine. For now, the only way to play this game in HDR is on Xbox One X, and travelling through a beautiful area like Toussaint from the Blood and Wine expansion is a night and day upgrade from an SDR image. Now PS4 Pro has its own patch in the works to bring it up to par, and obviously it already has 4K support locked in place via checkerboard rendering. Sadly, as of late 2017, CD Projekt Red's community lead has confirmed on Twitter that no HDR support is planned for PC. For the time being at least then, it's purely a console affair, but how does it actually look? Well, here's a sample of what Xbox One X does with the game. This video is presented entirely in HDR, taking the feed directly from the console and encoded to the HEVC format with all the metadata for this standard intact. Now, if you're viewing this on a compatible TV or smartphones like the Galaxy S8, LG V30 or Sony ZX Platinum, you're set for a real treat. But supposing you don't have the hardware and if you're viewing this on a standard dynamic range TV, YouTube will simply convert the video using a method called tone mapping to give a regular presentation. In that case, it'll just appear as normal. Traders, smugglers. Now if you can see it, the results are well worth it though. Even on our office's LCD backlit Panasonic DX750, a HDR enabled TV, shadows and white points simply pop with more gradients of detail. All the usual areas stand out in The Witcher 3. The skybox with rolling clouds gives a great sense of depth, especially with Geralt covered in shade in the foreground, and it's possible to pick out more detail in the clouds through that saturated light. And of course, bright points like fire stick out brilliantly too, thanks to a visibly higher white point value than the rest of the image. The best part about it is it all looks natural. Despite brightening the image as a whole, the gut reaction is this is how it should have always looked. Now the Tucson area already had a lavish colourful design that looked great on SDR displays at launch. Even so, there's a sense that what we're seeing in HDR is a truer, more correct representation of that artwork. To me, it became obvious when switching between the two modes, where standard dynamic range suddenly looked dull by comparison. Of course, you get used to that reversion to SDR within minutes, and the game still looks gorgeous. But clearly, that detail in between light and dark is stripped out, and you start to value what HDR brings to the table. Combined with the 4K mode on Xbox One X, both the clarity and depth in colour get a huge overhaul next to a regular Xbox One. And if you're lucky enough to have an OLED TV, expect that contrast to stand out even more vividly. All this is running in the game's 4K 30fps mode so far. As an aside though, I figured it'd be worth seeing how the performance mode runs around this area, unlocking the frame rate to 60fps. Given this expansion is meant to handle the streaming of assets in a more effective way on console, I wondered if there'd be much difference from the base game areas like Novigrad, which typically runs between 30 to 50fps. Well, to cut a long story short, Xbox One X still struggles with complex cities, and Toussaint's main kingdom area is no exception. You'll get 60fps in open areas, but anything with too many NPCs and buildings just hampers performance, to a point where a FreeSync monitor could make a world of difference. The Witcher 3's HDR support ranks up there with the most satisfying I've seen. Right now, games like this, Gears of War 4 and Horizon Zero Dawn all make amazing showcases for the feature. Supposing you've just bought a new TV and want to see what you've been missing, you can't go too far wrong by booting this one up first. The only real tragedy here is that plans for PC support aren't on the table, and with PS4 Pro getting its own HDR patch, that gives consoles a very tangible advantage. Then again, in theory, HDR on PC could still happen if the demand is there. There's a growing list of games adding the feature on PC in fact, from Assassin's Creed Origins to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And while HDR compatible monitors aren't widely available, there's still the option of hooking your machine up to an Ultra HD TV. It's also worth bearing in mind CD Projekt Red has been known to go back on decisions. A good recent example being, the team stated there'd be no PS4 Pro enhancements for The Witcher 3, only for a 4K Pro patch to land a few weeks before Xbox One X's own update. Now that's not to say it'll happen, but certainly there's a chance if requests from PC gamers keep rolling in. 
For now, this HDR support on top of a strong 4K update makes Xbox One X the best way to play the game on console and with a distinct advantage over even PC. I'll leave you with extended footage of the Blood and Wine expansion for the time being, but if you enjoyed this showcase don't forget to like and subscribe to support what we do. Plus, if you fancy grabbing this video's original HEVC source file for playback on a HDR compatible TV, that's available on our Patreon at digitalfoundry.net. Until next time though, thanks for watching. Not so fast, Roach. Guess this champion. Why the prophet's wings? A witcher. from can't rightly say sir i was just to deliver it <laughs> <laughs>